Right, so here we go, switch on for the first time. Power button. Lighting up in the film tray. Switching on, ooh, look, look at that. So let's have a look through the menu. Uh, that was in German. Down, 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 down. What's German for put it into English? Don't know. Sprach, maybe? Ah, yes, look. And then enter. So I'm going to start by formatting the card. Okay, all data will be deleted. Yes or no? Yes. Enter. Card protected. Okay, I better switch off again then. Let's try that again. So, the card has already been fully formatted in my laptop. So, it's already empty. However, we want to make sure that it's formatted by this. All data will be deleted, yes. Enter, please wait. So now this is formatting to their parameters. Okay, so that's good. Now, what do you have? You have exposure, you've got compensation for that, plus two, minus two. Can record, playback, rewind. More. Remove film from skid plate, then swap reels. Okay. I don't need to do that right now. Exposure adjustment. So you can go up to, down to. That's to obviously lighten and darken it. That's in half stop increments. Sharpness can be adjusted, low, medium, and high. USB, I'm not going to worry about. Frame adjust. Now, that is so that you can adjust it in the gate. You can put it up, down, what have you. Um, to zoom in, okay, on the different axes. When I start, so I've gone all over the place there. When I start scanning, I will just check what I see first of all. So I think we're ready for our first film. So that is going to go on there, down here, long here. Got to go in the gate, which you open like so. Clicks open. And then that down to close it again out round these little bits and pieces and up onto the reel so obviously that's a five inch reel there's no clearance here so you cannot do it from the big eight inch reels that my mum has already transferred everything onto from a lot of the films fortunately i've got a load of the smaller reels to to begin with so i'm gonna have to cut and uh re-splice i guess the larger films that's a pity that's a bit of a disappointment i mean all it would take would be like a little arm coming up here and a little arm coming up there you know surely not too difficult but it's a bit disappointing okay so the film reel comes round and down it's placed into the film gate under the two white tabs there and there down and around and up it's all Drawn on there so you can see it up and round, clicked into that. So we then drop the film gate down, and you can see there is our image. Okay, so initially the film looked a bit dark, so I've adjusted the exposure plus one and a half stops to get it looking a lot more realistic on this particular screen. Now, on the X and Y, the X is your horizontal adjustment. I had, if I, if I went to the left of the frame, it gave me a figure of 8, gave me a figure of 22 to the right of the frame, scrolling either side. So I've added, that gives me a difference of 16, so I've added 8 
to centralize it. The Y figures, the up to up and bot uh, blah, blah. the Y figures up and down, 13 and 23. So I've set it at 18, halfway through. The zoom is set on 16. I've set it to, to 12 because I dropped it down to 8. That gave me full frame. I've gone up a little bit to 12, so I should get full frame imagery now. So we're going to have a look. So let's start recording. Now this is me and my brother on go-karts in Ampurio Brava in Spain. So we are going to go to the menu button. We're going to scroll down to record and hit enter. Uh, select film type 8mm, push lever to left, super 8, push lever to right. 8mm push lever over to left, super 8 push lever to right, yep yeah, that is the correct one. So here we go, please wait. Well that's going very quick, a lot quicker than I thought. Just pulling that through the gate. This is really good, I can actually remember this film. That's why I'm doing it first. That's my brother going up on the left and me coming down on the right. We used to cycle up to um, the go-kart track in Ampurio Brava in Spain where my grandparents lived. So, uh, yeah, here we go. How long it's going to take to do this one small reel, I'm not sure. But we shall see, but so far it's all looking good. I can, of course, do exposure and colour adjustments in some software afterwards, a bit of post-processing. Uh, depending on the software I've got. Look at me coming around a corner. Look at that. That's brilliant. Look at that. Cornering like a pro. It's like I'm in my Spitfire all over again. So, let's wait and see how this goes. This particular film then goes on to our first trip to South Africa in 1982 with all the family on. So that's going to be lovely. It's the only time the whole family were together. All my cousins, my aunts, uncles, my grandparents. But it's working through quite rapidly. It's already scanned 159, 60, 61 frames. Fingers crossed we're going to have a good result at the end of it. Okay, so it's changed to another scene and that was uh, very overblown. That's me in the garden with a lamb and a dog, as you do. Uh, so I've stopped it, pressing that button, and now I've adjusted the exposure to plus one instead of plus two as it was on. Now we're going to go down and record again. I guess it's going to make it another file. Just means you've got to keep an eye on it because obviously you've got a frame counter, so you don't want to be sitting there going through every reel of film 20 times. But uh, hopefully that'll look all right when it's done. But it's it's fine because I can cut and chop and edit and splice post processing, so not a massive issue. Okay, so I've finished scanning. It's taken about half an hour or so. I should have timed it, to be honest. I've now selected Rewind. I've swapped the reel that it's gone onto over to the left and put the original reel back on. I've rooted it. It comes down, not in the gate, and round. So, go. There we go. I'm just going to put my thumb there because I'm not convinced it's great to go over the uh, film gate brilliant and then I'm going to flip out the uh, footage whack it into the laptop and see whether it's come out alright so the moment of truth I've put my SD card into my card reader it's popped straight up with film scanner let's have a look movie yeah, it's come up as three separate ones. So let's have a look. MP4s. Oh, that one is a bit bleached. Maybe I shouldn't have gone so um, so light. So the screen itself is not massively um, accurate. You work from. Still, we know. So let's have a look at number two. I started off pretty bad, then I. Just no, that's that's still a bit bleached out. I think. I think it looks a bit 
poor. So perhaps I should have stuck with the original exposure settings. This one looks okay. Mm, still a bit bleached out. I'm going to run that through again on the proper exposure. So reel two, I've put it on the recommended settings or the default settings. Exposure is, is as it should be. It looks dark on the screen, but we'll see how it comes out. So one annoyance of the uh, reflector scanner is that you can only go up to 5 inch reel. Now all of my stuff is either on 3 inch reels or 8 inch reels. This is a problem. Okay, um, I have no 5 inch reels. So what I've had to do, because there aren't any flip out arms, I guess because they, they probably had problems on the previous version which had them being but they weren't very uh, substantial from what I hear. Um, I'm, I guess they wanted to keep the size down of the main unit. So what I've had to do is call into action my grandfather's old editing suite. So I've got the 8 inch reel separately scanning from that. This is working quite well so far. What I'll have to do is when this starts getting full I'm going to have to hit start stop button and cut the film. So what I'll do is make sure I do that when there's a break in the um, footage you know where something's been spliced. So it's not insurmountable as long as you've got some way of fixing a reel. Um, because this one here is gear driven I can't put the scanner in the middle of the two real bits, but that's no great issue, we'll get by with that.